For ACUSports.com, I'm Grant Boone as we talk a little Wildcat cross country with the cross country championships in the Southland Conference coming up on Friday. We've got assistant track and field coach and assistant cross country coach Ray Walker with us. Ray, give me a sense of your team's confidence, especially on the women's side heading into Friday. Um, this is something they've been fighting for since the beginning of the season. And in terms of confidence, they have all the confidence in the world um, in themselves. And they're ready to go out there and get everything they have to try to accomplish the dream they had at the beginning of the season, which is winning conference championship. So That really has been the goal, hasn't it? And, and it's been interesting to watch this team over the course of the season. Take us back to the beginning of the season. It was their goal. Did you see this possibility coming with them? And what made you think they could maybe do it? Um, I take it as far back as the, the summer training. Um, in the summer training, they did a lot of mileage. A lot of them did more mileage than they ever did um, prior to this season. And um, they responded a lot to the mileage. And coming into the season, the first couple of workouts back together, they ran together, everybody was running fast times. And then the first meet came. And after the first meet, I was kind of, you know, it was a small little meet at McMurray. And I had a little bit of confidence after that. But then um, it wasn't until Texas A&M when I, I knew right there in the end that this team was special and that we have a chance to do something that haven't been done yet um, and since we've been going to Division One here in Soft Lane Conference. Well, you finished third in that meet on the women's side ahead of the host Texas A&M. We know what Allie Hackett has done and we've mm -hmm. talked a lot about Allie with a couple of wins. Diana Garcia Munoz has a win. C could you share with us a little bit about what you've witnessed with some of the, the other runners who, who've created a pack that this team can really build around? Um, I guess we go um, as far as saying, talking about um, one of the freshmen, Aubrey Teal. Um, at that Texas A&M race, you know, it was her first six, 6K, and she kind of been running behind Diana a lot, and even in practice on long runs and everything, she'd been running behind Diana. And so um, with, along with Allie and Diana and Aubrey, they kind of like stick together. And now that um, Michaela, Ale Alexandria Hackett's sister is getting a little faster. She's she's right there in that pack. So we have a strong four group of women who um, who's going to be our top four hopefully at this, this conference meet. Um, but then not to count out the other fifth, sixth, and seventh runner that we have with um, Isabella Gutierrez and um, Carly Ground and um, Marina. All of them they just kind of just been running together in practice and little by little everybody's been progressively getting faster throughout the season. And so the goal is for them don't three to stick together and. You know, one of them will be our number five and number six and number seven. Even even Gabby Thompson, she's doing really well and she's coming around um, to her her top her top form, her top shape, and hopefully she'll be out there too to push push the pace and hopefully um, trick a few people. And you know, never know. She making me know our number five runner. So our number four is set in stone, but um, number five, six, and seven and eight can change any time. So, but I believe in them girls, and I know they all gonna run really fast, and that's it. The women go into the weekend to Friday's championship expecting to win. What do you expect from the guys? Um, it's, 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 I mean, the guys haven't been getting like a lot of credit um, due to the women being so good this season. But after the race we had um, up there in Little Rock, the guys show that they have just, in, just as good a talent as the girls um, does. And I think with the guy on the guy side, they had a chance to get in the top five. Um, and that's, that's the goal. That's what we shoot it for at the beginning of the season. And we're trying to stay there. And they're running fast times right now. And they're peaking at the right time. And so on the guy side, I just expect Dan to be our top runner around with um, Ryan Cleary and Sterling Paul. And then after that, you know, you got Taylor Oaks, who's a senior, and um, Reed Rivers, who's a junior. And I just expect all five of them guys to just like run really, really hard. And hopefully, you know, fifth place or better, um, anything can happen in cross country. So I guess we have to see. There, there's been a change in the course, hasn't there? What can you tell us about that? Um, with the course, uh, the original course they had, they had a regional meet for high school um, on Monday, and it was really muddy from the rain this past weekend. And so um, they, I guess at the last second, they decided to change it to a golf course, um, which is, it sounded a little better because most of the courses we've been running on this year have been on golf courses. And so um, it's, I, I think it's a good thing. Um, I think for all the teams that are involved, I think they, the coaches are happy with the change because I'm pretty sure a lot of their teams want to run fast. And the mud just seemed to slow everybody down. So I'm really um, excited about running on a golf course instead of in the mud. Well, it should be a big Friday. 8.30 a.m. is when it gets started as the ACU women's cross-country team tries to give the Wildcats their first team title, first team conference title 
since the Wildcats returned to the Southland Conference. For Ray Walker, I'm Grant Boone for ACUSports.com.